Good morning and happy holiday season. Merry Christmas and happy new year uh, to all our friends out there. I just had a quick tip that I wanted to give you guys as a way of sharing more Excel knowledge with you, uh, but also to show you um, the way that you can uh, do some basic data conversion from imported data and actually turn, turn in this case, it into uh, usable date format uh, that you can actually use in Microsoft Excel. This actually came up in a class I was teaching in Chico, California last week, and I thought there were so many pieces to it that it would be handy uh, to throw all this together for you uh, so I can show you how to do it. So here's the deal. We have this uh, date that was imported from some database software, and as you can see, it's hard-coded. Uh, it's 1510, uh, actually 151210, and what it actually means is the 15 represents the year, 2015, the one two represents the month, December, and the one zero represents the day, the tenth. Um, but when it's imported like this, it can't be really. It's, this is not a valid Excel date format. Can't be really, really be used as a date. And so what we want to do over here is convert the string of numbers into a date, so it can be formatted as a date, used as a date, used in calculations as a date, uh, in a valid Excel date format. So here's how we're going to do it. Every formula function in Excel starts with equals. And this one is actually called date. Now what the date function wants inside the parentheses is first the year, comma, then the month, comma, then the day. All of that information here is in cell B2 that we've got to go in and to meet the year, comma, month, comma, day, we've got to grab the left two characters for the year, the middle two characters for the month, and the right two characters for the day. So those are the functions we're going to use. Left mid and right. So to get the year, we'll use left, open the parenthesis, point to this text right here in cell B2, comma, and bring back those two characters. That will give us the year, comma. Now the date function wants the month. You see it's bolded there, right? So to do that, we're going to use the mid function, referencing this text, start at the third character right here, and bring back two characters. So we're going to start at the third character and bring back the third and the fourth characters. That will end the mid function, comma. Now to get the day, we're going to use the right function because we want to get these two characters right here. So actually what the right function is going to do is start on the right end of this text string and bring back as many uh, characters as you want to. So we'll click on that. We want to bring back from B2 the last two characters, so we put two. Now, that right there, the left two, the middle two, and the right two, will give us an answer, but it's not quite right. This is December 10th of 1915. Now, over here to get the year, when we're using left, and it's getting this one five, because of the date value numbering system in Excel, starts at the year 1900, it is assuming that 15 means the year 1915. Well, we don't want 1915. We want 2015. So here in front of the left function, we are going to concatenate or stick another value on the front end of that. The value is going to be 20, comma. Then we're going to concatenate or stick to that the 1 and the 5. We'll put a right parenthesis here the matching right parenthesis for the left parenthesis if we concatenate. And now we will get this answer, December 10th of 2015. Now when you look in this, double click into this cell right here, this is actually the conversion machine. And we may want to keep it there, we may not. Let's assume we want to keep that there to convert dates like this in the future. What we actually want to bring over here is the date we're actually going to use in Excel. So we're going to copy this with Control C, and then we're going to go over here and paste it with Control alt v just the values. So we click Values right there. And now we actually have the converted date right there in that cell. That's how you do it. So to take a string of numbers right here, we're using a combination of the date function, left, mid, and right to get the pieces we need. We're throwing in the concatenate function in there to make sure we've got 2015, not 1915. And then we're converting it over here using copy-paste special values to actually get the converted date. 
And that's how you do it. Hey, folks, Merry Christmas. Happy New Year from Rob Hamilton here at Soul Canyon Training and Development. Take care. Bye.